Hello, I'm Jo. Thanks for visiting my channel. Today I'm going to be making the vintage Mabel handbag. This bag is I made from vinyl and it is a free pattern download that is available on the Swoon website. I will link to it in the description. I added a slip pocket to the inside. You can do that as well if you wish. I also want to show you another one I made previously that I added a crossbody strap. And I will link to a video tutorial showing you how to make your strap tabs and your crossbody strap if you desire to wear your bag across the body. Let's make the interior and exterior gussets. Place the exterior gusset right sides together matching all edges and you will pin along the larger narrow edge and you will take this to your sewing machine and sew across using a half inch seam allowance. You will repeat for the lining gusset. The Mabel Vintage handbag is quite a versatile bag. You can use it as a stylish top handle bag to up your fashion game or you can add insulation or and waterproof canvas as the lining. Use this bag as a lunch bag as well as you can add a crossbody strap if you prefer to carry it across your body. Uh, modify this bag however you would like. I'm just going to follow the instruction and make it as simple as I can so that you can understand and maybe tweak it a bit to suit your needs. Hey, thanks for viewing my channel. If you're new here, welcome and I hope that you will stick with me and subscribe. For the returning viewers, thank you for sticking around. If you're using vinyl, open the seam and sew along the seam edge quarter inch away on both sides. If you're using for the section that is just quilting cutting, you will use your iron and press the seam open flat. So these are your completed gussets. Now you will add the interfacing onto the exterior part. Use your Peltex and align it in the center. It should have about half an inch around and because that's where you will be stitching. So take your iron and adhere your Peltex to your uh, fabric. After that, I'm using a bit of glue to stick the fleece onto my exterior section. If you have um, shape flex, you can use that. And I think that has an adhesive, which you will use your iron to fasten. Since I'm not using shape flex, I'm using fleece. I will use glue to attach. Now let's install the magnetic snap closure. Take the lining flap and the exterior main body and you will be adding your closure to that. Make sure everything is interfaced nicely according to the instructions before you install your magnetic snap. So take a ruler and measure two inches down from the top straight edge. But first, find the center of your fabric piece by folding it in half. Mark the two inch point and then you will take the washer of the magnetic snap and center it over that point and then you will mark the area for the prongs to go through. Take your seam ripper and cut the opening. Do not cut it too wide because you want your snap to fade snugly. So be very careful with your seam ripper. Go through from one end to the next and pull up. Making sure that you cut through the interfacing as well. Now place the female section inside and turn over and you will bend the prongs inward.
okay so now you repeat for the flap place your lining flap right sides up mark one and a half inch up from the curved edge and you will repeat the steps to install the magnetic snap So the magnetic snap closure is now installed on the body and the flap. Let's assemble the flap. Place the exterior and lining flap pieces right sides together, matching all edges and pin or clip. We will sew along the edges using a half inch seam allowance. Do not sew along the straight edge. We will use that opening for turning right sides out. So after you complete your pinning, you will sew around as shown. As you can see the straight edge is open now trim your seam allowance down to about one eighth of an inch all around the flap except for the opening and then we will turn right sides out and finger press if you're using vinyl if everything is um, quilting cotton then you can use your iron after you turn right sides out and press make sure every all the seams are poked out and everything is neat and the flap is shaped properly so i'm using my fingers to kind of roll out the seams and flatten everything around and then i'm going to pin to assess with the flattening and then i'm going to take this to my sewing machine and top stitch around the curved edges and the straight edge using a long stitch line so what you're going to sew all around the flap do not fold the um, the straight edge inwards just stitch across it as it is from one end to the other and then go around the curves Your flap is now complete with magnetic closure attached. Stay tuned for part two. I look forward to hearing from you in the comments and give this video a like.